Hello there and good evening. Welcome to Hannah Wu's Corner. I am your host, Hannah Wu, and I am the Wu of Senses. We're going to be talking about um, unplugging your instant gratification button today. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this topic up is as I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize that a lot of people my age are really stuck on the social media life. They're stuck on their phones, they're stuck on the computer, the TV, um, and forgetting almost to interact. They forgot how to pick up a phone and call one another. They forgot how to start up a conversation. They forgot how to uh, be alone and be by themselves. Um, as, honestly, this is kind of an ironic topic because I've been spending weeks dealing and battling um, anxiety and um, worrying about what other people think of me and not paying attention on what my body needs. Like, it, it was, in the end, I needed good sleep, I needed a good meal, I needed to be able to unwind and learn to unwind, and every once in a while, take a break. Um, I'm currently going to school and working full time, as well as trying to balance um, work, life, family, friends, all in the same batch, and it's very difficult. Um, and because of that, I've realized that there are probably other people that feel the same way. And um, I wanted to reach out and let you know that you're not alone. That uh, we all have responsibilities and we all have struggles. But it's how you deal with them on a daily basis that make you, uh, make you strong and make you a survivor of your experiences. Um, so let's backtrack. Since I am the woo of senses, I want to introduce you a few things that I am indulging right now to help me get to that state of relaxation and self-care. Um, curling up by the fire is always one of my favorite things to do. Jam of the moment is Chill Study Beats 4 by Chill Hop Music on YouTube. It is a nice, mellow... Uh, relaxing type of vibe that I get, my into, get myself into when I start listening to this and it helps me kind of wind down for the day and get ready for the week. It is currently Sunday, it is currently uh, football season and uh, it's also currently the season of a lot of stress. You're trying to finish up the school year, you're trying to finish up a month out at work, you're trying to um, gather uh, funds and presents for your family members if you celebrate Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or if you don't celebrate at all that's fine too, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you may just be trying to clean up at the end of year and get yourself ready for a new year. Um, overall, you're dealing with stresses. Uh, whether it's stressing on trying to find your next meal, whether it's stressing on finding the, like a really nice outfit to wear to school tomorrow, or trying to get yourself ready for a new job interview, whatever the situation may be for you, take some time today and unwind and, and allow yourself to curl up, um, whether it's on the floor, whether it's on the couch, whether it's in your bed, get a hot beverage or a cold one of whatever your preference is. Mine is a warm beverage. I'm drinking English Rose Tea today by Wittert and I've gotten this from a friend. Thank you Cynthia. Um, it has an arrangement of different delicious teas that I uh, enjoy on a daily basis and this is what I'm enjoying today. Um, and if it's tea is not your choice and you'd rather have a glass of uh, of Coke or Pepsi or even if it was a root beer float, if it floats your boat, go for it. Um, take this time and indulge a little bit of yourself. However, the topic of the day is instant gratification. Now, instant gratification, what I mean is um, providing a little bit of restriction on to your schedule and on into your life when dealing with inst instant gratification. What I mean by that is I've been trying to be financially more responsible and that's hard when instant gratification comes to play. Like 
you're on your way home from work or school and you're stopping by, you're, you're on the way home and you see like a grocery store, a convenience store, and you're like, oh, I gotta pick up dinner. And you go in there and you know you're hungry and you're tired and you're like, oh, this sounds good, this sounds good. And the next thing you know it, you have a cart full of food. And a lot of it could be junk food that you don't need, that, that you don't have the money to buy, but you're buying it because it just seems so nice to have at this point. Instant gratification, people, that is like buyer's remorse. Um, it is the... Uh, it is the kind of behavior that is not healthy. Um, it is the kind of behavior that gets you in trouble. So, um, if there's a way that you can check yourself and reel yourself back from that instant gratification, try to do so at least once once a day. Like I know I have a habit of getting up in the morning and the first thing I want is a hot cup of coffee. I don't care how I get it. I just want a hot cup of coffee. Um, I will poke somebody and be like, hey, can someone get me a cup of coffee? Or I'm willing to bribe somebody, like, can you do? Can you just pick up a cup of coffee for me? That would be, like, much appreciated today. When I am just as able and just as capable of getting up, going to the coffee machine, making myself a cup of coffee, putting in a travel mug, and go about my day. The instant gratification there is me saying, nah, forget that. I'm going to get in the car and go get a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. The situation is, it's not that it's a lot of money to go out and buy a cup of coffee. It's not that it's an issue that I'm purchasing a cup of coffee. That's not that's not the deal here. The deal is, I'm also a student, and I'm also trying to deal with my finances and though it is just a dollar and ten cents or dollar twenty cents it's still a dollar and twenty cents that I don't have that I can't spare right now and I'm trying to be better with my finances trying to be acknowledging acknowledge being able to acknowledge that I'm in a current situation where saving and and restraining myself from those indulgences is very important um, if it's not a cup of coffee it may be something as simple as um, food um, or, you know, going to the mall and, and having, hap, happen to be walking down the hallway and seeing a pair of shoes I really, that I felt like I really had to get. Did you really had to get them? Is there a need? Are you going somewhere in time soon to, to wear these shoes? No. That's where that kind of behavior gets me in trouble. Me, personally. I don't know what it is for you. Maybe you're the type of person who don't have those indulgences and don't go out and, and spend frivolously. But maybe it's something else. Maybe you are someone who is a constant junk food eater. Like, you know that you're not supposed to eat this donut or this bag of, a bag of chips that's on the table. But you're like, eh, I'm, I'm craving it. Now that you're seeing it, you're craving it. But earlier, you didn't think anything about it a bag of chips or a dunk or a duck and donuts or anything like that. You were just thinking, oh, I'm going about my day doing my thing. Well, um, I'm here to tell you that sometimes you need to restrain yourself because by restraining yourselves, when you do come across those tendencies, you can appreciate it so much more. Like I know I can appreciate a really good cup of coffee, um, like at a, at a local um, diner or something. Like one of my favorite cups of coffee is a um, artisanal coffee. It's, it's a craft coffee flavor um, by, uh, uh, I can't remember the restaurant, but it's a really good drink. It's called the Nutty Irishman, and it's with whipped cream and pecans in it, and there's caramel, and it's just oh so delicious. It's like one of those concoctions that you just go, where has that been in my life? Like, where can I go get that again, you know? Imagine if you were to go out and buy that every day or whenever you feel like it. Like if, if you're craving it three times a week and you're, you're drinking it, drinking it three times a week. When you come up, come across it again, you don't really want it. You're not appreciating it. Why? Because you overindulge and you've gotten to the point where it's just not as special. So um, that was the topic of the day. I wanted to just take a break and um, give you a little piece of my mind about that. So senses um, to touch base on today's English rose tea smells is going to be driftwood and indigo. It's a lovely scent. Sound 
It's uh, Chill Study Beats by Chill Hop Music on YouTube. Uh, sensation. I am feeling the warmth of the fire right now. Oops. So that's my sensation. That's what I'm enjoying right now. And uh, what else do I have to cover? Taste buds? Mmm, taste buds. My taste buds are now craving an almond cake. Uh, I got this almond cake from ShopRite. I don't know if you guys have a ShopRite where you are, but the ShopRite is a convenience store near me that is uh, very nice, full of abundance of goodies. And the almond cake was my uh, cake of choice today, which is what I'm going to dive into in a little bit, but I don't want to be rude in front of you. Um, I just want to say, though, thank you so much for tuning in and for watching my channel. I hope that I have provided you a little bit of interesting commentary on um, a topic that I find to be important to me and I sh was able to share with you some things that I enjoy having in my life like the tea, the cake, the music um, and hoping and giving you a little bit of coziness from my home to yours. Uh, just reaching out there and trying to push out a lot of positivity and love uh, for my to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to uh, spend some more time with you soon. Thanks again. Bye.